So you're starting to run Facebook ads for your wholesaling real estate business, but you're not generating any leads. So what I'm going to do in this particular video is randomly select other investors ads throughout the entire United States. This is just done through the Facebook ads library. I typed in like buy houses for cash and I selected a few screenshots of ads that I saw that probably could use a little bit of work or they confused me or it was great examples of advertisements, but it forgot one thing. So if you're interested in perfecting your Facebook ads for wholesale real estate, please hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned to the rest of this video because let's jump onto the computer and break it down right now for you. So first thing is first, we see here that Paul buys houses and I wanna read you the ad copy and show you what I specifically mean by what they can improve, what I kinda of got confused on. So I'm a local investor and I'm and buying a few more properties this month. I love Wisconsin much more than other areas, so I'm willing to pay you more than most real estate investors. Click get quote to see how much I would pay you. So this is very broad. It generally, you're speaking to the masses. And the thing with Facebook ads, because there's not super select targeting that you can do because of the housing category restrictions, you need to call out to the individual homeowners that you're looking at doing business with. So in this case, I'm, I'm assuming he's looking at doing a little bit more sub two transactions, seller finance transactions, that sort of stuff, that he can pay a premium for the property. So what I would probably do instead is say something along the lines of, if you're a homeowner with a property in good condition, but you're looking at relocating to another state, another area, and you don't wanna go through the hassle of listing it on the market with a realtor, please pay attention to the next little bit of this advertisement. And then you can then go into the exact type of property that you're looking for, one that fits your buy criteria so you can speak to them specifically and get a higher conversion rate. It could use improvement, but we'll see. It's Again, this is, I'm not calling out anyone specific. I just wanted to highlight the few things that I noticed, but let's jump into another advertisement. So right here, we have the friendly home buyer. Here's what Toby had to say about our purchase of his home pictured below. It was great, nice, professional, really fast and easy process. To be honest with you, would you guys click on this? Now, I don't know who this gentleman is. He's probably getting results. These have been running since October of 2019. So I'm assuming that these convert. Otherwise, he's probably just wasting money if they don't convert at a great rate. But there's no call to action. There's nothing, it's other than sell your home on your terms. There's no other call to action in the ad copy, which could, of course, use some work. You need to have a call to action. Maybe something along the lines of, so you might be wondering, or you might be questioning selling your house to a cash buyer. Well, recently we bought a house from a gentleman named Toby. Here's what he had to say. Blah, blah, blah. Now, if you are in a similar position and you want a cash offer for your house, please go to flipfoxvalley.com or whatever your website is. Fill the form that says get a cash offer and then we will be in contact with you as soon as you are done filling that out. Now, that is a little bit more focused, a little bit more niche than what he did here. And this is pretty much the same ad copy throughout all these. Here's what Joe had to say about our purchase of his home, pictured below. Um, and where I got confused, I saw the same person in three advertisements. So I'm like, was well, the person's name Toby, Joe, Jonathan? Like, who, who's this guy? S some random stranger? What? I, I didn't understand that. And a confused mind does not act. So that's one thing that you need to be aware of. Don't do something like this. Be a little bit more niche, a little bit more specific, and maybe even take yourself out of the advertisement. It's not all about you. So now what we're going to do is check out two different ads in the same marketplace and the advertisers, they're copying one another word for word in their ads, which is a terrible, terrible idea. So you can see here on my screen, um, we look at the ad copy and we have Papa buys houses and then good old Brady buys houses. Maybe it's the same person. I don't really really know, but I, I highly doubt that, to be honest with you. So Brady has been in control of selling your home with a free no obligation cash offer. I'm a local investor looking to buy a few more homes in the area. I buy homes with cash, so on and so forth. But he does actually have a website URL, so I give him props for that. This isn't a, a bad idea. I'm wondering if he's from Idaho. Um, I, I have run ads like this in the past, got a terrible conversion rate, so I wouldn't recommend it. It just doesn't convert very well. This isn't very appealing. Um, and I wonder how his advertisement is working for him. But then we have Papa Buys Houses right here. Um, being in control of selling your home with a free no obligation cash offer. I'm a local investor looking to buy a few more homes in the area. I buy homes with cash. I pay for all the fees, repairs, so on and so forth. And then he has a testimonial ad. Again, these don't convert very well. Now it does build rapport with 
homeowners, so to say. But what even builds more rapport with homeowners is doing video advertisements, doing warm video advertisements that retargets the people who have already interacted with your ads or watched your previous videos, and you will have even more success with those versus doing a testimonial ad like this because people ultimately aren't going to believe a lot of what they see on the internet. And there's actually a couple video ads that I wanted to show you because I thought both of these were phenomenal. They only missed a, a couple things in their ad copy, but otherwise, I think video advertising is so, so important for real estate investors because what we do isn't the, the status norm. So you need to inform these people, you need to educate them so they feel comfortable doing business with you and your company. But right here from Olympic Home Buyers, they did a great video. The only thing that I would say about this particular ad, the, the only thing whatsoever, this is obviously a call advertisement. Now, they might be having better results with people calling them, but we've generally had, when we've directed people to our website, more people convert. So that is the only thing that I would criticize about this ad, but we can jump into some of the videos that I recorded on my screen so you can see what other investors are doing and what you could even implement in your marketplace and have success with. Want to sell your house, trailer, or apartment? Hey, my name is Ryan with Vets Buy Houses. We specialize in helping out homeowners who may be underwater on their property. They may need a ton of repairs in the property. It's dated, it needs to be updated. We do a bunch of different things. We have creative ways of getting things done where we can assume your mortgage, take over payment. We can do owner finance options. If you are a person that may be a little bit older, you want some steady income coming in every single month. Plenty of different options. We got cash offers. Hit us up today if you're interested. You have a property, single family home, apartment complexes, mobile home parks, mobile homes, we buy them all. Hit the link below, fill out the form on our website, and we will be in touch shortly. So I thought for the most part the ad, the video ad was very, very solid. Obviously Ryan is in front of a house that is short to the point which might be good and which might not be good. But ultimately what I, I think he could have done better is niche down for this specific video. Not targeting owners who have a distressed property, who are behind in payments, who maybe want to sell on creative finance, who might have a mobile home park, who might have mobile homes. Niche down to one of these things or create five different ads targeting each one specifically. Then he will have better results, higher conversion rates and he can ultimately turn off the ones that do not work but otherwise it's a solid video they get to know him on a personal level which is most important especially when you're doing video advertising so you saw that one but let's jump into another one it's for a guy in I think the Detroit metro area again a phenomenal example that you can replicate in your own business my name is Emilio I'm a real estate investor in the area and I'm standing behind a house that needs full rehab and we're looking for houses like this and we're buying properties like this or this. Pretty much any house, any condition we'll be willing to look at. Tenant occupied, needs full renovation, minor cosmetic, even if the property looks like this. That's what we do. We're problem solvers. We are real estate investors. And if you have a property that you don't want anymore, we want to take a look at it. Click on the link in the description below and let's talk. So you can see in Emilio's ad, he gave specific examples of properties that they are looking for. I think this would probably convert extremely, extremely well. He's specific to the point. It's a short and sweet video. It replays after you watch it. And any video that's 30 seconds should get very high watch time, especially if you're targeting an area that has very distressed real estate. The one thing I would tell to Emilio is call out your website name in the ad. If his website name was Cash for Houses Detroit, I would say if you want an offer on your property, go to cashforhousesdetroit.com. Again, and that's cashforhousesdetroit.com because it is shown that when you say the name of your website out loud, you will actually get a ton of type in traffic, which ultimately at the end of the day helps your conversion rate and ultimately drives more conversions for you and the company. So all in all, after reviewing multiple different types of Facebook ads, doing my research, going on the Facebook ads library, which you can do for yourself, you've probably gained a general idea on what Facebook ads work, what your ad should have, and ultimately what you should do to have success with generating wholesale real state leads. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like and subscribe button down below. I post new content every week about these topics in specific, and I look forward to connecting with you again in the future. 